Hey everyone, I'm Matt Carl. Today we're going to make an electric longboard. So this is the basic layout of the components you'll need. First, of course, you'll need a longboard with trucks and wheels. Next, a motor with a pulley is mounted to one of the trucks and a belt is attached between the motor pulley and a gear on one of the wheels. The motor has three wires connected to it called phase wires and those get connected to an electronic speed controller or ESC. Now the ESC comes with a switch and that's how you're going to turn the board on and off but it also comes with a plug for an RC transmitter which remotely connects to a handheld controller to control the board's speed, acceleration, and braking. Next is the batteries to power everything. Now I chose to use two 3S or 3 cell lithium polymer batteries wired in series to create a 6S or 6 cell battery pack. This is connected to an electronic speed controller but I also added an anti-spark switch on the positive line so I can safely connect everything together without a lot of sparking. Now finally there are balance cables coming from the two batteries. This ensures that the batteries are charged evenly. Now, I connect both of these balance cables to an adapter board which treats the two batteries as a single 6S pack. It allows me to connect to a balance charger which connects to the wall to charge the batteries. That was honestly the toughest part of the entire project, just figuring out what specific parts I needed, making sure that they worked together, and making sure that they were all in stock. Now I've included a link in the description to a Google spreadsheet that has all of the parts I've used, their links to their websites, and their prices. Now that being said, I didn't build the cheapest electric longboard you could possibly build. I wanted one with a fairly significant range of 10 miles and a top speed of 18 to 20 miles an hour. If you're really struggling financially, you can cut back on the motor, the ESC, and the batteries and make an electric longboard for around $300, but that just means that you're not going to go as far or as fast. So that being said, let's move on to the mechanical design. Now I have access to a 3D printer, which I use for a couple of the components on the board, like the wheel mounted gear, the actual motor mount itself, the brackets for holding in the components, and the shell to enclose the electronics. Now, my motor mount works by having three separate pieces. The main motor mount are these two pieces, and as you can see, it slides onto the truck, while two threaded rods run through the length of the mount to provide structural support as well as a belt tensioning system. By adding washers into this gap, I can change the distance the motor is from the gear and thus tension the belt. Now, rather than welding a metal motor mount to the truck, I designed this one to be held in place by an imposing piece on the other side and two threaded rods that apply constant tension and hold everything together. Finally, it was a challenge to design a cover that could fit all of the electronics in a slim profile while still being able to fit it within my 3D printer build platform. I ultimately decided on this configuration with the ESC, RC receiver, batteries, and balance charger adapter all having their own brackets, while the anti-spark switch and ESC switch are all integrated directly into the cover. Now all there is left to do is to actually build it.
watching everyone if you guys have any questions at all feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and remember i have links to all parts and 3d models in the description now if you guys like these kinds of longboard tutorial videos i have plenty more such as how to build a longboard deck how to build a foldable longboard and how to do a custom grip tape job so if you guys like these videos feel free to subscribe to stay up to date with my newest ones thanks again and safe riding